<laughs> did, I, did all of a sudden my face change? <laughs> <laughs> I always use the analogy of football that we have this opportunity to get 100 touchdowns a day. So with that, I always tell my staff, look to catch the ball. Look for when a patient or a customer is passing the ball to you. They're looking to see if you're gonna catch it and what you're gonna do after you have it. I had a letter from one of our residential areas to one of my housekeepers and it said that, I just wanted you to know that Josie has done an outstanding job for us in this building. Josie has been my mother when my mother's not around. She's been my listener when no one else will hear what I wanted to say. And she makes sure that my environment is clean for me every day. But I just want you to know that I appreciate what Josie does and I appreciate Josie. There was a cancer patient in our unit her husband was with her and they wanted to have the last meal. So we had arranged a dining room with linen and flowers and candles. And they came down, had their last meal together. And unfortunately, his wife passed away the very next day. It's very humbling because I don't think very many people can say that they've actually been involved in someone's last wish in their life. You're not just doing a job, you really do make a difference. And it may not feel like you're making a million dollars or that anything was so hugely significant, but every piece of the puzzle plays a role. And if my employees each make a difference to every patient that they touch, then I've done my job.